And yes, it's time for our daily arts and culture segment. And of course, for that, we are joined live in the studio by our Im Yoon Hee. So let's bring her in. Good afternoon to you, Yoon Hee. Good afternoon, Kanye. You know, the weather is a little bit dark and gloomy and rainy, but I hear that you have an item for us that will just brighten up our day. Right, exactly. So it is a little bit gloomy out today, but uh, who doesn't love a comedy to brighten up your day? So today I have two performances uh, that are comedy performances. One's an opera and one's a play. So uh, both are charming in their own way. So let's take a look. An elixir for love. This two-part comic opera about a magic love potion is one of the most performed of Donizetti's operas. And at one point, it was even the most performed opera in all of Italy. This Korean and Italian collaborated production, The Elixir of Love, will be on stage in Seoul for just two short days. Seoul Opera from Busan and Italy's Teatro dell'Opera di Roma have come together, bringing together a mixed cast of performers from both countries. And on a different stage, another comedic production involving some very interestingly attired characters takes place. But their approach is a little different from the opera. At first, the bizarre costumes might throw you off. But this gothic comedy is quick to please the audience. The Walworth farce by Edna Walsh tells a story of one family's strange yet captivating behaviors as they relive their family memories. Honestly, the world is small, but some people are just in their own little world. Even though it's small, I feel like there are so many differences between people. I identified with these characters, so I created this performance. <laughs> 